What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru Today, and today we are inside a 2017 Impreza Sport with EyeSight, and we're gonna take a look at how you can actually make some adjustments to certain uh, features of the EyeSight itself. So, in addition to obviously your blind spot detection and your you know late departure warning and pre-collision braking buttons, these buttons are gonna be designed to actually turn off certain features, but we're gonna look at how you can kind of customize specific features of EyeSight to make the vehicle a little bit more your own. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the buttons over here, the three little toggles as I like to call them, that are right around seven o'clock on your steering wheel. These are gonna control the screen that's directly in front of you that's in between the tachometer and the speedometer. So we're gonna use either the up or down arrow here to scroll through until we get to the screen that says pull and hold the eye set switch for menu. So we're gonna pull and hold that middle button here and then we're gonna scroll through, once that screen changes, takes about three seconds, we're gonna scroll through until we get to EyeSight. And then we're gonna use the middle button, which is the EyeSet, to select that. And that's gonna change the screen to give us a couple of different things that we're able to change. So the first thing is gonna be lead vehicle acquisition sound. So what that is, is um, lead vehicle acquisition, what that is, is when there's a car in front of you, and like let's say you're at a red light or something, and that car moves, and you do not move, for example, you're you know looking at your cell or so on and so forth, uh, it's gonna give you an audible warning. So if I select this, this allows us to either leave the sound on as it is now, or I could simply decide to turn it off if I just wanted to have the, the visual warning of that letting me know that the car's moved. So the next thing that I have the opportunity to change is actually gonna be the lead ve uh, vehicle moving monitor function altogether. So I can actually turn that function off altogether or I can continue to have it on and simply decide to turn off the sound if I would like to as well. The next thing that's on here is really awesome. This is new for the new 17 Impreza and this is actually cruise control acceleration characteristics. Now this is actually going to allow you while using adaptive cruise control to change the characteristics of how the car is going to accelerate, whether it be more sporty or whether or not you want it to be a little bit more um, economical. So if I select that, I have three different levels. Starting at the bottom, I'm gonna have eco mode. So that's level one. That's gonna be the most gentle acceleration and braking. That's gonna be mostly for fuel economy. If I go up, the next level is gonna be comfort. That's gonna be a little bit more aggressive. I have standard, which is actually how the car comes from the factory. And then I also have dynamic, which is gonna be a little bit more sporty, a little bit quicker accelerations, things of that nature. So it kind of allows you to have a little bit more customization, personalization uh, than previously was available. Now I'm going to, after I've selected the, the standard, which is simply how it comes from the factory, I'm gonna to go to the go back button and then I'm gonna scroll. So this is where we went to when we actually selected EyeSight. Now I'm gonna scroll up to actually warning volume. And if I hit select here, this allows me to change the warning volumes of certain things. So for example, you know, I had lead vehicle acquisition, I could turn the sound either on or off, but here the warning volume is for all of the features. So whether it's lane departure warning, it's pre-collision braking, or it's lead vehicle acquisition, it doesn't matter. It simply here is where I have the ability to actually change the warning volumes of all of these features, or I can turn them down to almost non-existent as well. So. Hopefully you guys have found this to be helpful inside the Impreza. I do wanna show you guys real quickly before we finish up here today what it looks like in an Outback since it is just a little bit different. So why don't we go take a look inside of one of those vehicles. All right, so now we're inside of a 2017 Subaru Outback. This is an option package 24, so limited. It has all of the features and everything. Now I wanted to do show you sort of the difference here because it is a little bit different, although for the most part, everything you know will carry over. Now, as we mentioned over here, you know, you had the one or two buttons in the Impreza. We do have a couple more features over here and the ability to, ch uh, to turn off certain features of EyeSight. On the Impreza, they were up here, but really what we're gonna focus on is still gonna be these three toggles. So I'm gonna toggle through exactly the same way that I did in the Impreza until I see the pull and hold the eye set switch, and then I'm gonna pull and hold that until that screen changes directly in front of me. Same location uh, there on the Impreza. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna scroll through to EyeSight, but before I actually click on EyeSight with the EyeSet button, I wanna scroll through and show you a couple other things here. You also have, as you can see, blind spot and rear cross traffic alert settings, and also reverse automatic braking settings, individual, you know, separate from the actual um, EyeSight category in and of itself. And 
What that's for is if I hit like blind spot detection, for example, I have warning volume specifically within that particular feature. So I don't have quite as much control with the Impreza as I do here with the Outback in terms of the warning volumes of certain things, but it is really nice to, uh, to note that difference there. So if I do select EyeSight here, I'm gonna select that using the middle button, I do have that warning volume change within EyeSight excluding the uh, blind spot detection and, or, um, and the rear cross traffic alert as well as the reverse automatic braking. So those two things are sort of separated from EyeSight when you're talking about warning volume here on the Outback. But if I select that, you can see here for all those other features, whether it's, you know, lead vehicle acquisition or if it's, you know, pre-collision braking, those things, those are all sort of bundled together in terms of warning volume. But I also have a um, lead vehicle uh, moving monitor function just like I had in the Impreza. I can turn that on or off. I can adjust the sound of that here. It looks like, so maybe I guess it's really only the pre-collision braking, I guess, that it's sort of put on its own there, I guess, which is kind of interesting. So you can see here just a little bit different. I do have the vehicle icons on. I can change that setting as well. So just a little bit of differences in between the Impreza and the Outback here, but I thought they were definitely worth noting. So pretty easy to kind of fiddle around with things. You guys can kind of customize it. If you do have a vehicle currently with EyeSight, sort of customize whether or not, you know, what warning volumes and things work best for you. Just a little bit more control over uh, certain settings, which make the experience a little bit more enjoyable. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, subscribe today, and we'll see you guys next time on Groove Subaru Today.